Hey, I have a friend tonight that's going to dance with me. Do you want to meet her? I think you do. All right, here she comes. <laughs> I did it. This wasn't planned. I know. <laughs> I like to move it, move it, right? Welcome, welcome everybody and welcome Dora. And you know what? We're going to have her back here in just a little bit to share with you. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of why you want to be tuned in, why you want to reach out to your friends and tell them to get on as well. So now you know our secret guest tonight is the one and only Dora Neubauer, our amazing hey. regional of the Anaheim region. <laughs> And she has got some great things to share with you a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started here and see how many folks we can bring on. OK. All right, guys. So we are super excited to have you all on here. And as you saw, I've got my eyes on you tonight. Charlie is checking to see who's on and who's not. And you want to make sure that you reach out to your friends, to your coworker, you know, your, your team members, to um, maybe even some of your friends that you've been thinking maybe sort of kind of might want to sell Tupperware with you or know a little bit more about Tupperware because you can always invite them to watch us on the, the stream on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. So um, go ahead and get, get them on here. Our goal is, of course, to get the most people we've ever had on in any one night while we're live. So you've got time to keep picking up some folks here and shouting at, you know, tagging them in the things as well. So, um, of course, I want to remind you that before leaving any comments, please grant StreamYard permission to use your name if you are on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, there's no problem. And, um, of course, you can view us in either place. The great thing about YouTube is it is public, so you can invite your friends that are not part of our Hooray Team yet to be there with us as well. And, um, and of course, we are looking to see which team has the most people. So I'm going to give you a chance to get a few more people on, and then we're going to have like a shout out to see which team has the most people watching tonight as well. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and flip, up, bring up our screen here tonight. There we go. Um, and of course, it is Move It Monday and our opportunity for you to, you know, just like get things ready to go for this week. And while it's not the first day of our Tupperware week, it is the first day of the mental week. That's kind of the way our bodies work. You know, our mental week kind of starts on Monday, but our work week starts, you know, starts on Wednesday, well, Thursday for us, but it, we kind of kick it off um, as we close out Wednesday and start Thursday. So today is kind of our chance to regroup, refocus, and get ready. Um, but tonight we have a very important theme that we want to talk about. And, and of course, that theme is teamwork. Um, so I want to share one of my favorite quotes from Helen Keller. Alone, we can do so little, but together we can do so much. And I share that because sometimes we're out here doing our thing and we don't realize how much more powerful we are together. And that when we come together, when we work together as a team, we can accomplish things that we never would have dreamed possible. The other part that's really cool about that is that because we are a part of a team, we have the support of each other and we have a bigger group of people that we can pull from to be able to grow our businesses. And we have several things going on right now that are designed to help you do that. And we'll talk about those a little bit later tonight as well. So stick with us as we go through um, because we have some great things to share with you tonight. First thing, of course, is Team Weeks is coming. And I'm so excited about Team Weeks because this is something that we do every year and it's our chance to really and truly show how we work together as a team. So there's a few very important steps steps. And when Dora comes back and visits with you guys, she's going to share. And I might just bring her home in just a few minutes anyway. Um, but the first thing, of course, is that we want to fill up our date books with lots and lots of parties because parties are the key to success in our business. And we need 
more parties so that we can see more people so that we can create more new parties for October and how we can mean that that's how we make you get more money as well. And you all want more money, right? Say yes. Say see. Say we. Poor Charlie's in there having a coffin fit. All right. He's over in Studio B over there. So the second thing that's an important step to really maximizing your business is to maximize your sales by demonstrating sets of products and premium products. And of course, we talked to you last week about that impression sets. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. And we're going to talk about the value of showing off some of our big products that we have. You know, we've got um, a great special that's ending, a bonus that's ending on Wednesday. We've got a new one starting Thursday. We're going to talk to you about that tonight. And those are ways that you're going to get people to want to buy more as well as to date more parties. The third thing is that, you know, we've got to always have something going on extra. And that's where you maybe pick the item of the day, something you really are excited about, a product you really love. You go live, you talk about it, and then, you know, you have a goal to sell 10 of those that day. If you're not comfortable with going live yet and doing a demo yourself, grab one off of Tup Social or one that you've seen somebody else use and just run that little video and say, my goal is to sell 10 of these today or just snap a picture and show a picture of it and say, you know, who had this growing up? Don't you need one in your house? Right now, guys, if I were you, I would be taking that salt and pepper shaker set with the butter dish and I would be running with it because everybody knows that salt and pepper shaker and everybody wants one in their house, even if they already got one, because I've got one lady who's bought three of them from me because she wants one for her camper. She wants one for her home and she wants one because of her travel set. So when she travels, she carries it with her because she never knows when she's going to need salt and pepper. So, you know, that is a great set. And if you could sell 10 of those in a day, um, you know, then that's almost a $200 order you've got right there. So just think about things like that, that you can do you know, that you can kind of create that spark, get some activity going, then focus on selling your bigger sets of products as you're demonstrating at your parties and as you're talking to people that maybe want to invest a little more and dating those parties. But the other thing that you can do to help build our team weeks is to build our team and you can grow your team by welcoming new people. And there's always great things for them and there's always great things for you. But the most important thing, and I say this just like I did in that quotes to, you know, alone, we can do so little together. We can do so much. Everyone makes a difference. And in these next two weeks, we need everyone to hit submit. We need everyone active. That's what we're going for. A hundred percent activity, because not only do we want to have a great team effort. We want to be the number one in the region and we want our region to be the number one region. So we're going to work with that together. And while I have Dora here, Dora, if you don't mind, I'd like for you just to share a little bit about Team Weeks because I know you have something special that they're going to be, you're going to be asking them to do with their parties up. Yes. So I'm, go up I'm bring so them. There we go. Okay. Yes. And well, thank you, Marsha, for inviting me to be here with you today. And I see um, Charlie backstage <laughs> working on the cameras. That's great. Uh, yeah, Team Weeks is coming. And there's, oh, I cannot tell you until Thursday, but there's a lot more going on. We're going to have some specials for your customers. We're going to have, well, we are going to talk about um, the host special, the, yeah, the host bonuses. We're also going to have a little bit of a, I'm not going to say a competition because I think everybody's going to win, but you certainly want to be help hooray to be the number one with more active team members, which means more people hitting submit. And then I think just to spice it up a little bit, because I always like doing that, we're going to be doing some daily drawings and just a hint is for holding a party. So submitting a party. We're going to do 200, 500. Oh, I'm already telling you about the challenge. So wait until Thursday to see all the details on this um, challenge that we have on the region. But it's basically every region because we are part of a huge team. Uh, the other thing we're going to be doing is going live on the top of our U.S. and Canada, sharing some tips um, every day. And that's going to be really fun. So 
make sure that you tune everywhere. We're going to be going live in the region. Uh, Marsha, Charlie, they're going to be going live in Hooray. So there's a lot of things going on. But um, the thing that I'm very, very special for these particular team weeks is that we have a lot to offer. We have lots for the customers, lots for lots for the customers. And I have my impression sets here. Uh, lots for the hostesses and then also a special uh, rewards for you. I hope that you are achieving every single, every single um, personal sales challenge. Uh, many of you already have the 200, the 500. There's 1,000, there's 2,000. How much are you going to sell in the next weeks? It is not only about team weeks, but it's whatever you do in these coming up weeks. It's also putting you in the right path for record breakers. So we'll talk about that later. First team weeks. So let's have great, great sales. And how do we do that? With lots of parties. Um, many of you heard that on the Unlock the Superpowers. So dating parties is really powerful. That is what's going to bring you a lot of sales, put you out there to meet a lot of potential recruits, grow your team, actually do everything that you can do in your business thanks to the top of party so let's party all right thank you so much so guys you got a little sneak peek of things that are coming dora told you stuff she's not supposed to tell you yet but we're going to bring her back a little bit later as well and she's got this great chart that she's going to be sharing with us so that we can all register our parties so that we know that those parties are coming in there as well but right now it is time for a shout out Tell us in the chat right now, which director team are you a part of, you know, and, and be really excited about it. Put lots of emojis in there. Let us know why, you know, which team has the most. Because, guys, you know what? We were up to, we almost had 50 watching at one time. And we could bring a few more people in there with your excitement, your energy. Once again, keep tagging your friends. Charlie is checking that chat. He is looking to see which director team is going to have the most people on there. I see some of our managers are getting involved here too. Great job, managers. You know, call out your unit. Call out the people in your unit. We want to know all of you are there. I see some success unlimiteds out there. I see some goal getters are out there. The top tastics are out there. The dynamics are out there. Look at all those folks. Now remember, guys, you got to make sure that you give for, um, StreamYard permission for your name so Charlie can see it in the stream. But he's going to be picking a winner. He's going to be keeping track of those. And I may have to wait till we finish tonight so I can count up how many of each team there are. But the team that has the most on by the end of tonight and has chatted in here, I'm here. When we finish that team, everybody's going to get a special little Tupperware decal in the mail from me as my way of saying thank you for being on and thank you for helping your team show up and show off as we go through this tonight as well. All right. So what else have we got going on besides team weeks? Well, guys, we have lots and lots of great things happening. Of course, as we said, for bringing those new recruits in here, we want to make sure that we are um, bringing, we are sharing with them what's in it for them because there's always something awesome for them. We have these amazing um, Premier glassware pieces that they can get as their first order bonus. And of course, they also have the opportunity with their first 500 to qualify for the first level of their confidence start. And this month's extra bonus gift for everybody who sells 500. So this is for each and every one of you. You have an opportunity to get those fabulous on the go tumblers for when you have 500 in sales for just $10. So think about it when you put this package together. I mean, we're out here working and we're making our money, but if you bring a new person in, they can, for that same $500 order, they can get their premium glassware, they can get their tumblers or on the go cups, and they can get their choice of vent and serve or a can the canister set. And that's huge. And when they qualify, you also qualify for your exclusive rewards as well. So, um, of course, moving up is a big step as well. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and bring Dora back on here with me again, because I want to talk with Dora for just a minute about, you know, why would they want to become leaders on our team? Why do they want to be managers, Dora? 
Oh my gosh, because there's more money, there's more fun, there's everything else that is in Tupperware is when you're stepping up. But this month, we have a very special leadership development challenge. And it's for everybody that goes from consultant to manager, whether you've been a cons uh, manager before or it's your first time, you will get a piece of cookware, which is my favorite piece of cookware. Marshall saw me using it earlier. I should have uh, gone live then. But um, it's free. It's free for that consultant that step up to manager. And we have some special news that we heard today. Also, um, we had that out of Jubilee, we had that come back to leadership challenge to achieve that rolling back, which, by the way, if you have the opportunity, you want to have it. Well, guess what? That was for those that step up in August. And we had a very special extension. So it's going to be also for those that step up that were managers before for any reason, life happens, lost the title, they um, step down. If you step up again this month, um, then you are eligible to qualify for that rolling back. It's a stepping up and then three consecutive months of consistently being paid as title. But that means that if you were a manager um, some uh, earlier on the year, you lost the title, you can qualify for the bag. You can qualify for the piece of cookware. So that is double dipping. I'm so excited for that. So let's all step up this month. This is for consultants to managers. But what happens if I'm already a manager? What's for me, for you helping your cons your consultants to step up is uh, making your unit or your team, if you're a director, stronger. And especially right now that we are so close to record breakers. So that's what we have for stepping up. I'm looking here in the catalog just to tell you the regular price of this piece of cookware is Two hundred and eighty-five. Do you have it right oh, there? Yeah. Oh, I was trying bag. to see if I had mine clean too, but mine's dirty. But I did find this, Dora. Check it out, guys. Our you want to have it? The rolling kit bag that you can qualify for by moving up. If you are a returning manager, you can earn this um, as well. And then, of course, everybody who promotes to manager and moves up this month gets that fantastic piece of cookware so yes. awesome 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 mm -hmm. all right so moving on let's go on back to our slideshow here and um just kind of pick up a couple more things that we want to talk about and i'm out of breath i ran all right so we also shared with you earlier this week that you have a new opportunity to come to the factory with me now this is an exclusive hooray offer um and Dora doesn't even know about it. So Dora can't, he, she's closing her ears so she doesn't hear it. Um, but you can qualify to come to the factory with us when you welcome five new team members in September and you, you personally sell $350. Now, last month we had a challenge for folks to earn and they only had three, you know, three weeks to earn theirs. You've got the entire month. So you guys, you can do this five personal recruits and just 350 in sales. That one party that you hold next week is going to be what's going to put you in there. And we want to take even more people. So set your sights on making that happen as well. Now, we also, we were talking about this fabulous impression set and this, I forgot to change the slide and take the, the chip and dip off. Um, but we did have this, um, we have this amazing set that we've been selling all month long. And several of you've done a great job with taking it and running with it. And last week, we Terry shared some great ideas on how to turn it into individual gifts that you could give away to people, right? And so um, she showed you how, to, how you could shrink wrap them into individual gifts, how you could use it to set up at a display at a vendor event. And, um, and by the way, I am going to come live tomorrow and actually do a little tutorial on how to shrink wrap because several of you said, well, how do you do it? I mean, it's great. And where do you get it? And I'm going to give you some tips on that too, so that you can run with it. But this is one of those key things, guys. If you show this and talk about it as gifts, you're going to sell the whole set. And that's going to maximize your sales there as well. I know Dora has hers all set up there already. Dora, what, do you, what are some of your favorite ways to use this set? 
Well, um, this particular collection of impressions, I really, really love um, because we have so many pieces. It would be a great set, like you say, to gift. I mean, it, how many weeks are we from Christmas? We're going to be needing um, products. We're going to be needing gifts. But as a to especially as a Tupperware consultant, you want to also get yours because from there, here, you can make some gifts for the teachers, for your friends from church, for maybe your FedEx man or your FedEx lady. I mean, they're so, I mean, mail everywhere you go. I don't know, the doctor. I, I remember carrying around all these um, shopping bags from Tupperware with all these pieces of Tupperware sh sh shrink wrap to give away at the school or if I was going to the mail or wherever I was going. And it's a great also opportunity for, I mean, dating parties or your hostesses. But I mean, whether you take a set of four pieces, like I have the cereal bowls, for example, or you actually get um, the one set matching color, like for example, this, like a teacher, I mean, that's wonderful for the teacher, the teacher to take that's her lunch, gorgeous. she's not gonna need four pieces so she can do just one of each and it's wonderful um the balls for example yes it's an amazing gift if we give it all but you also can give each of them separate and then if it's for christmas then you want to fill them up with um some goodies that you bake at home or inside of one of the balls put some other gifts like for example this one if you want to call it a movie night maybe put some popcorn bags and maybe put i mean just a couple of cans of soda or i mean you name it right i mean you can theme these like look and that's perfect like that and then just theme it with whatever um gift that you want to give but those are ideas that if you have this set at home i highly recommend you to actually prepare those ideas go live in your vip group take some pictures if you are going to um shrink wrap some of the items and share because the flyer when we show the flyer and somebody says the whole set and sees 189 they may not jump and say oh give me five of those that's reality right they're not gonna jump and say i want these many sets but when you give them all these ideas then is when they're going to jump for it and say yes i do want that set because nowhere they're going to find that many pieces for this price where they're going to be able to do all these gifts that is incredible and I've, and we had a couple people just popping in and sharing some of the things um, and I love, 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 uh, you know, April, thanks for reminding us there's only 15 Fridays until Christmas. And so uh, there you go. <laughs> if you aren't talking Christmas presents, you're really going to miss out on that opportunity to, to maximize what we can sell because Tupperware is the gift that keeps on giving, right? You can use it as a wrapping, but at the same time, they can continue to use it over and over and over as well. So um, just think about those things, guys, um, as you are looking at what you can do with your products. And, you know, we have some more tips and ideas we want to share with you. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put our slide back up here. There we go. All right. So um, of course, let's continue to run with this and see how many of these sets we can sell and, and kind of maybe set a goal for yourself. You know, can I sell one set a day? just one set a day. I mean, at the end of the week, that's almost a thousand dollars in sales. And think about the money you're going to be making every time you sell one of those sets as well. We also know that our hosts are always the people who get the most. And we have some two really amazing host gift specials. Now, the one on the left, our green, um, the green set is, of course, we, I showed you uh, some couple of pictures of it in, in real life. We gave one away a few weeks ago. Uh, it is so much prettier in real life. Don't you agree, Dora? I mean, when oh, they have that set up on the table, it's absolutely incredible. Um, but the modular mate set only goes for two more weeks. And guys, everybody needs modular mates. So once again, you know, go to your cabinets, 
get some of your modular makes out, take some pictures of it, go live and talk about it, um, or just show your hands organizing things. Once, and also check out Tup Social. There's some great videos on that as well. But this is a great chance to put those modular mates in people's hands at the best price because the host always get the most. And alert, like spoiler alert, not really, because I'm not going to tell you, but <laughs> coming up for October, we're going to have another, well, you're going to get to see actually one of them because it's in our new October brochure. And we're even going to have some extra special share um, things going on in October. And that's why you are going to want to make sure that you are filling up your date book now so that you're going to have lots and lots of people to date parties with into October when we share with you next week what's coming for October. All right. So Charlie wants to, Charlie's just over there pushing buttons like crazy. Um, so if you haven't put in the chat what team you're on, be sure to do that because he's keeping track of how all, who's on, all's on here. And I've seen quite a few. I've seen some of our managers and their you know, units yelling out. And I've seen quite a few of our director teams, people yelling out as well. So keep it up, guys. Keep making that noise out there. All right. We also know that, yes. I'm sorry that I interrupt you, but before okay. we move forward, back to the, let's go back to the other slide, that yeah. one, because I do want to say something for those new consultants, whether you're a new consultant or you have welcomed new consultants that haven't had their first party. I think these module mates is the best opportunity for new consultants to have the first party and bring these products to their pantry because, well, like Marsha said, not to spoil it, but you need to have module maids <laughs> pretty soon because um, our big season of module maids is coming up. So new consultants really need to have their pantry organized. And new consultants, you know what? If you decided to join Topperware without the idea to do parties just because you want the discount, then having your party, you will have the opportunity to get all the major mates free, which is great. And you want to do that um, to also get your business started. So that first party, great uh, host gift for new consultants. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, she is absolutely right. Um, and a reminder that we have two more days that you can still close your parties for those your hosts to take advantage of this amazing master system. Um, if you missed la the demonstration two weeks ago, you want to go back and watch it because if nothing else, you could have your own party tomorrow night. We're going to talk about that when we talk about our pop up kitchen. But you could hold your own party and claim this for yourself. And guys, this is huge. It's a over $300 value. You can get it for $119. You get all these pieces. And now you'll have all these different recipes that you can prepare with this as well. So that's something don't forget about. But what Dora and I are really excited tonight to talk to you about is this. I call it the Go Go Gadget set. Um, and if you ever watched Inspector Gadget, Go Go Gadget, you know that he has all these amazing, amazing um, gadgets there that he uses. And we are excited about sharing with you a little bit about these as well. So there's five different gadgets that your host will be able to get as a bonus when she has her $500 party with two bookings. And um, one of the things that we all know is that you never, ever, ever let these slip by without making sure that you have those two bookings in your date book for the next three weeks. Um, so we want to make sure sure that we are talking about this at, at Charlie, stop it. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing in there. Okay. Um, he's, I'm going to have to put him on like on, on restriction. Or Throw something. him a gadget. Yeah. I'm going to have to give him some gadget. He's got gadgets. He doesn't need to be playing with all of them. Um, anyway, these five gadgets are so cool. And Dora and I are going to have a little fun with them tonight because we're going to talk a little bit back and forth. And we were both going, I was like, Oh man, I should have been at the beach house today because I have all of these in the new colors and everything because I just replaced all of mine at the beach. But um, that's okay because Dora and I are going to take care of it with what yes. we have. And I do have a few um, here as well. So Dora, um, one of my personal favorites that I love, love, love 
is the garlic press. And you have the um, the one I have at home. I have I I, I have one of the new. Ones. Ah, you got the new one. That's great. Okay. I my, yeah. I just brought the things from my kitchen. So me too. I've got. I mean, got the I same green one may not here. Be the yeah. round. There you go. <laughs> may not be the colors that you will receive that your hostess will receive, but uh, it's the same fantastic products. And let me tell you again, one more time for new consultants, this would be an amazing way to get all their gadgets. So. It's great for hostesses, but I'm thinking of all our new consultants because how many were in Hooray last month? Yeah. Over a hundred new consultants. They deserve all these gifts. They absolutely deserve all these gifts. Guess because you know, we did welcome the most new consultants of any company in yes. the region last month. And it's, we want to help all those new consultants get off to a great start. So Dora, why don't we talk a little bit about each one of them? Um, I was, I've got a can in there. I can actually get it so we can show them about the can opener. And Charlie's been saying he wants a glass of wine. Oh, you have a can. Okay. So I'll, maybe I'll let you do the can. No, maybe we do it together to see who opened it faster. Oh, that's a good idea. As well. <laughs> Well, I'm going to talk for just a minute about the garlic press. And Dora, then I'm going to ask you to share one of your favorite recipes because, you know, they work very similarly. Um, they just kind of have redesigned this one. It's got a little bit wider um, press on the front side of it. But what I love about it is this little piece that sticks up right here. And you might be going, why does it have that long handle like that? And that's so you can put the garlic clove. Oh, she's pushing hers already. Look at that thing go through. Isn't that amazing? I just love that. But you can also take that garlic clove and you can put it right here and then push this down like that. And what it will do is it will actually pop the skin off of it. So if you've ever done it where you take the skin and you hit it with the top of a knife, you know, to break the skin off, that's what that's for. So you can put the actual garlic clove right here and then push it with this. And underneath this little metal piece, it actually pops the skin off. Mm -hmm. And then you just take the peeled clove, stick it in there and do what Dora just did. And did you see how easily that came out? Um, how completely, I mean, you're using every single piece, right? Because for those recipes that say chop finely, I mean, there's not any other way to chop finely that with your garlic press. So absolutely it's, it's everything amazing. there. And here's another little way you can use this, guys. This is kind of fun. Um, you probably are going to want to have a second one or you're going to have to wash it really good. But um, if you've ever done clay art, you know, like you, you either like not Play-Doh, but, you know, where you make your own pl play dough, you know, play dough, your dough with um, flour and salt and all that kind of stuff. And you make your dough. You can actually press the dough through here and use it as a beard on a Santa Claus. Or you can put your cookie dough, if you're making sugar cookies and press it out and you can make the hair for your angels or you can make a beard for your Santa Claus. And so your garlic price is great for garlic, but it's also good for other things. So another reason why everybody needs a garlic press in their home as well. Okay, Dora, what's your, Dora, what's your favorite thing that you make with garlic? They, I was thinking, I knew you were going to ask that. So I thought like, okay, what do I usually use my garlic press for? There's, I can tell you two quick recipes. One is Brussels sprouts in the micro pro grill. So I shape them really fine and you can use your uh, Tupperware knife or you can use the um, handy mandolin. And then I do, I love garlic. So I would put maybe four or five uh, garlic cloves olive oil and um, one or two shallots, um, also shredded that I do use my handy uh, mandolin for that. And then it's 12 minutes in the microwave on grill mm. position. So it's like perfect, perfectly cooked and charred olive oil too. So I usually put all this in a dazzable cover, I mean, seal it and then shake it very well, and then I put it on the micro pro grill. I mean, really easy. That mm -hmm. is a recipe you can go live with. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, maybe you can do the same recipe with asparagus or with green beans. I do. I also do little new potatoes, like the little fingerling potatoes, and I'll do them with the garlic like that and grill them like that too. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how anybody can't eat Brussels sprouts. They're the best. Green beans will work that way. Like you said, asparagus, you could do some broccoli and get a char on your broccoli. Um, it's just amazing. You yeah. know, really and truly, when you let the flavor of the veg vegetables come through, how amazing they are as well. Oh, I think Charlie's putting a challenge out there. Who wants to eat at Dora's house? Come over. 
Yeah. <laughs> we, you know, we were fortunate enough before COVID to have Dora come and do a cooking class for us. Yes. We're hoping that they're going to let her out of the, you know, out of this, her little prison they have her in there. Right. <laughs> her little, they've got her locked in her office in her home and, but we want her out in the field so that she can come. Or maybe we'll just have to have, come up with a challenge for a live cooking demo. Where Absolutely. They come and be a part of watching you cook there as well. Maybe do these cool. recipes. I was going to tell you the other recipe, and he's going to make me talk about another gadget that is my favorite. So garlic press and lemon press and lemon you go, go ahead and talk about that because I got to go get my can. So I'm going to let oh, you perfect. talk. Okay. So, um, the well, let's talk about the lemon press, lemon sister. I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm from Mexico. Always, always have had one of these because I know that there's people I remember at parties that they would say, I don't use that many limes or lemons. Why, why do I have one? What would I want one? You want it because you really want to have the perfect tool to uh, squeeze absolutely every single, um, every single, um, Every, 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 all the use from your uh, limes. Let me go ahead and show you here. So um, I have it right here where I can show you because um, there's, uh, if you have never had, or you come across a um, customer that have never had a lemon press, it's important to tell them that it goes like this, right? Not because the shape looks like this, that is not the way to do it. You want to do it this way because this is going to press right there. I want you to see how easy. And there are some limes or lemons that are really, really hard. You will squeeze every, every drop of juice there. Look at all that. This is just half a lime. That's pretty, pretty good. And then if you happen to have too many limes or lemons, I mean, it happens, right? If you um, like buying some of these items when they are on sale, um, lemon juice and lime juice is something you can freeze, which is great for, for recipes. I want to show you the sister because, again, I have had many sisters, but this one is the best. I'm going to actually use the lemon just to, the yeah, the lemon. And I will tell you, you need to be careful that don't go much. One is start looking white. Don't go much because then it's, it's um, the flavor you don't want. You just want the color part. Same with limes or lemons. Um, the thing that I like about this sister is that it's really easy and it's really clean. Look what I'm doing. I had no even one little piece of cest around. If you use anything else, it's going to be all over the place. And here, what you have is right here in this cavity of the, um, of the lemon press, you have all your lemon cest. So it's really easy. If I'm going to measure it for a recipe, then I can just scoop it with my measuring spoon or teaspoon. And, um, it's like I say, super clean and you get everything. I mean, I just did a little bit, but can you see how well that is done? And let me tell you, you have this at home. This is a really quick demo you want to show. I mean, go live with this, uh, do a quick video, do a TikTok, uh, because that, that right there is a demonstration. Sometimes we talk about demonstrations. Sometimes we talk about the party and we're thinking like, oh, the whole recipe. No, just showing how to use one product. That is a demonstration. There's one more thing that I want to tell you about that. I'm going to be very careful to keep this here. Another thing that I want to tell you about the um, lemon um, squeeze. When you finish, you may take your lime or your lemon out and you may think that, huh, there's a still juice there. So they're always going to be a little bit left. And I will tell you, I learned this from one of the chefs from Tupperware that um, this is because if you keep squeezing, don't get this out and just keep squeezing because what's going to happen, you're going to start squeezing the part that we don't want in our recipes because it's, it's, it's sour. Okay because it's not the flavor we want. We just want the juice and we, we just want the zest. So the recipe that I want to share with you with lemon uh, press and lemon zest and garlic press is, oh, it's one of my favorites and it's super easy. It's shrimp with garlic 
and um, olive oil, lemon juice, lemon zest, and red pepper flakes. And that's all. You saute on a pan, and it's a favorite in my house. You can put that on top of um, pasta. You can put that on top of rice. Really, really easy. And you can do it on a pan, or you can do it on your micro grill. Oh, that sounds so yummy, Dora. Absolutely incredible. All right. So let's move on to our can opener. All right. I have my can. I have beef. Let me see what size. Okay. Yes. I went to get the same size. I was going to get the smaller one, but I said, no, I'll be fair. Okay. Oh, well, you're going to, you're getting a head start. So no, let's, just, let's, just want to make sure that, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so guys, just in case, if you've not used this, this is important to know. And this is also a really important one that you need to demonstrate to your customers because I've had people get this and then they call me and they go, I can't use that can opener. It doesn't work. So it's important that you go through it. So you basically look, it's like it's got little legs and you open the legs, you know, just like that. So you got to open it, open it, close it, open it, close it. So you open it all the way. And what you'll notice is that when you do that, see how this part right here changes? It goes open and it goes closed like that. So what it's doing is it's making a space right here, what which will fit onto the side of your can. It's not going to cut the can. It's going to actually break the glue where the can is sealed together. And, and that's what makes this so cool. And, and what's also great about that is because none of this ever touches the food, then you don't have to worry about whether um, it, you know, any bacteria or anything's getting into your uh, container as well. So that's a really important thing to know as well. The other thing that's, that you want to point out to your customers is this little, what I call the beak at the very end, because when you open it up, just like this, you see it separates. When you close it, it's going to clamp. Dora's got hers there too, and it's going to clamp on the side of the can. All right, so we're going to both open. We're going to place it in place. We're going to lock it. I call it lock and load. All right. Are you ready? Go. I have beet juice. I hope mine doesn't spill. And I usually go until it clicks. Oh, yours clicked. I don't know. It clicked. Mine didn't, mine I'm done. Click. Oh, well. Okay. Let me see if I can get mine. Click and lift. Oh, but you know what? I don't think mine is open. Look at that. It's no. It didn't click all the way. No, it didn't. It didn't. I know, sometimes, it, sometimes you have to let it go two or three no, times. No, Marsha, this is what I used to do at my parties. It was always so much fun. I and I would do it with tomato or with pineapple, something that has a lot of liquid. And then I would say, I don't think it opened. I would think it opened, and I would say, Wait a minute. Oh yes, it is open. Oh, Dora, so, you're so cute. This was always a big and fun thing at the parties because people were afraid that it was open and I was going to just drip all the tomato sauce on the floor. And it never happened. It never happened to me. And it's always a great fun way to do it. So just a little fun if you can do it in your videos. That I would be love great. it, love it. Well, one of the things that I always like to do um, when I am using it is after I take it off and I go, and of course, you know, you wouldn't do this any other time, would you? And then I would go like this on my arm. And especially when it's tomato juice, it would usually leave this little rim of tomato on my arm. And so then people would go, oh, and I go, oh, well, no, it's just tomato juice. And I you know, <laughs> didn't have to worry about it. And it's but it's having fun with it when you're demonstrating and showing people. And then you can take that and you can place it back on top. And while it doesn't, you know, it's not going to, you can't, don't want to turn it over on its side, but it is great for, you know, that if you needed to stick it back in the fridge, you know, just while you're getting things ready, maybe you'd opened it and you're going to use it a little bit later. You can just stick that in place. I know people who have cats and dogs and they use canned cats and dog food. Sometimes they'll do that because they feed them half the can, put it, uh, this back on it and stick it mm -hmm. in the fridge for later as well. So it's just, it's really functional. But what's most important is it's safe for kids to do. So you can get your kids in the kitchen and get your kids helping you to cook. And, um, and you know, they, they, they will eat things they wouldn't normally eat if they have something to do with, uh, you know, cooking it. 
So it's I really, would also say, yeah. Marsha, that's super clean because as you see, I mean, I've been holding these, but I'll go with these directly to my garbage can and then open it there to release it. So it's not all over the place. Um, I mean, I'm splashing or there in my, my table or my cooking space. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, did, did you learn something new already? I'm, I've got, I've got beet juice all over the place over here where I lifted it up. Oh, I'm um, telling you to keep your space clean. I know. I know. <laughs> I need to figure out a better way than what I'm doing tonight. That's a fact. All right. Then we have two more amazing gadgets to share. Yes, I have the brand new color one. Um, I went and got one just to show the new color, but mine's just like Dora's here at the house. Okay. So Dora, um, I know you probably never, ever used that. At your oh, house. I do. I do. <laughs> well, you know, what do you love best about it, Dora? That is so easy because exactly what you say, I don't use it very frequently. I am not going to be, I, the worst thing that could happen is trying to open a bottle in front of a friend or in front of um, a crowd because you're having a party and then getting the, not doing it right or pulling this one and not pulling the cork. I mean, it's embarrassing. So this one is the best because you won't have that happening. So um, that's what I love it. So, and even the people that are used to, to just use the regular, they see these and they really, really amazed at how easy and clean it is. It is indeed. And you know, Charlie's been, he's all night. He's going, yeah, can we open the bottle of wine? Can we open the bottle of wine? Go for so, it. I know Charlie, you need to get your bottle of wine out so you can open it up so we can show them how to open it. Charlie. Bring me the bottle of wine and the corkscrew. <laughs> He's already he already opened it and drunk it. <laughs> he must have. He must have. <laughs> um, also, guys, if you I, you know I I I love um, like extra virgin olive oils and and specialty oils, and so um, oftentimes I'll order in these special olive oils from Spain and from Morocco, and and <laughs> he brings me one with a screw top. <laughs> no, Charlie. <laughs> Gee. All right. But um, these specialty olive oils that I get all have corks in them as well, but they oh. have little small corks. And I can never, I can't get them out any other way except using my corkscrew. Now, what's great about this one is, you know, you can go ahead and cut this piece off. Um, but if you didn't know this, most of these wine things are designed with this little thing on the top so you can actually just slip it off just like that. Okay. That's that little seal on it. And that's so if you are sitting outside where you're drinking it and the cork is out, you can just slip this over the top of it. So no bugs and stuff will fly into your wine. That's why it's designed like that. So it'll kind of protect your wine before you finish it. So we have our wine right here, just like this. I'll turn this down so you guys can get a closer look at it. All right, and I'm going to take this. And what's nice about this is that it has, um, this is actually coated with a Teflon coating or a non-stick coating. And that's what keeps the cork itself from cracking and breaking. Because sometimes if they're not stored correctly, uh, then they get very dry and that'll get very brittle as well. So you don't want that to happen. If you've ever been to a restaurant sometimes and they had, they, they went to put it in there and it, they the cork split and broke and they couldn't get it out. Mm -hmm. I actually have a friend that owns a restaurant and um, he kept, keeps a couple of this, these behind the bar. So when the waiters who are using that old fashioned kind at the table break the cork, he actually, they can bring it over to him and he can open it with this one. I, I keep telling him he just needs to let them all use this at the table, but he doesn't. But anyway, okay. So you have this inside, you place it over the top of the thing. Okay. And you just push it down till it kind of is resting on it like that. And then you position it so it's right in the middle. Uh, there we go. All right, and then you just turn. And what's great about this, you just hold this bottom piece and you just turn it. You're not having to do any pulling. You're not having to do any forcing. You just turn. And what's great about it, as you turn, it reaches a point where it starts to pull the cork out as well. And you just we can going. see it right there. Yeah. You can see it, yeah, right there. Oh, Charlie brought his glasses. He brought his glasses. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> okay, and then and then you just give it a little pull up, and it comes out. 
And then just holding on to this again, just like this, you unscrew it the opposite way, just like that. And, and it takes, comes right out. So then you have your cork that you can use, save, you can stick back in the bottle, whatever. Of course, if you have our wine accessory set, there we go. you can actually, um, it has, it comes with its own stopper. So there you have, you're ready for your wine tonight. It's so easy, so good. If you have somebody on your holiday shopping list that is a wine drinker, this is the must. You have to get on one of these because they will love, love, love you for it. Um, I had one person who called me. She says, I need three of them because my mom wants one, my sister wants one, and I need another one. So, you know, you will have a lot of great customers if they are wine drinkers that will need to have this in their kitchen as well. Um, so that's the fourth of these five amazing gadgets. And then we have one more and I didn't have it here and Dora didn't have one there either. And we, you know, because mine's at the beach and I, um, but it is the knife sharpener. And, and I'm going to try to make sure I get one of these. I do have one, I think, um, in storage. So I'll try to find that for you. I um, have one. I don't know what it is, but you know what? That tells me that my knives <laughs> are so sharp. We don't need them very we often, need do we? Yes. Because we have such good knives and they hold their, their sharp, their, their edge for so long. But um, one thing that we can share about it, which makes it very special because, yes, there are other sharpeners out there. But this one in particular can be also used for serrated knives. And mm -hmm. um, I don't know of any other one out there. I mean, you would have to look on a a specialty um, store. Yeah. Um, that's a great thing of ours. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and that and I would I would agree with you because the serrated knife for most most of the times you have to take that into a knife sharpening store because it has to be done a special way. But we can actually it is designed to be used with our serrated knife. So that's your bread knife. That's your serrated utility knife. It works for those. And, and it'll keep that nice sharp. And what's great about it too, is the way it folds up. So it's like, a, it actually folds up like a little shell. Mm -hmm. And then when you open it up, it makes a little block so that your hand can't get close to the knife. So you see the purple part that's standing up is to keep the knife from touching your hand. But then when you take the knife out, it just all folds up and that becomes the bottom of your sharpener. So all five of these amazing gadgets. Um, as the price, the price, Marsha. Yeah, give them the price. $49. Oh my. my all goodness. of them for only $49. It's amazing. Because yes. the regular price, if a customer was going to buy all of these, would be $175. Yeah, and this is a bonus. They can get it with their party. So they at their $500 party, they can already get $75 host credits of some other stuff they want to pick out they can get that beautiful green tablescape they can get the modular mates because those are on for the next two weeks and they can add this for $49 plus they still have two items at half price they can take advantage of so do you do you see the value of dating parties do you see why having parties is so important um I mean Right now, why should someone have a party right now? Think about it um, and, and put it in the comments. Why should someone have a party right now? And Marsha, if this is a customer or a hostess that already have all these items, another reason to have a party is because for only $49, she will be getting five very impressive Christmas gifts for their mm -hmm. friends or family. That's right. Or five impressive stocking stuffers that she has a big family mm -hmm. that she has to stock stuffings for. Um, it really is. I mean, it, you can customize those with so many people. The, the garlic lover, you could have the little garlic, a little garlic, um, you know, and those little garlic roasters with the garlic or in a garlic press, or you could have a garlic keeper with a press. You could have your can opener with, you know, some a package of things to make a favorite recipe. You could do the, the zester with your margarita mix. Um, you could. Oh, that's another easy recipe. Yes. Yeah. So, Marcia, you know, did you see what I have here? Let me, let me pull it big and see. Let's see. Let me take me. Off. Is this one available out there for, for everybody? It's my garlic keeper. Which I love. Is this available? 
tell tell us in the chat if you have one of these yeah I it's not know. available to purchase it is not hmm. not hmm. but i'm thinking maybe we should have maybe a challenge no maybe you should check your my week on thursday <gasps> Ooh. So more reason to host this party, okay? So I'm yes, excited. absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys. So we've got just a couple more things that we want to share with you tonight. Um, and I will let's see. We want to. We've got a brand new mailer coming for October. I'm going to give you your sneak peek of our October brochure because tomorrow sampling opens at 12 noon. That's right. Everything opens at 12 noon now, which is great. You'll be able to start getting your samples for this and order these in. Um, and it's a beautiful, bright season of sharing cover and a new booking gift there that we're offering people. Um, JC's my favorite time of the month. Yes, it is. Um, we have some great new pieces as well. We have, of course, that those amazing a mixing bowl set, which includes that large bowl that's the size of a that's a bowl. We have the rolling new design rolling pin, and we have the new and improved um, decorating bag with some new tips and a bigger size, which is absolutely incredible. We have also um, a focus on baking for the holidays with the we've got the the silicone baking mat which everybody's going to need a couple of those for doing their holiday baking um the ice cream scoop which is great for ice cream to go with your cookies but also the ice cream scoop is an essential piece if you're making those monster cookies. And if you don't have the monster cookie recipe, we will be sharing that when we do our holiday cooking school a little bit later in October. So you'll want to come in and get lots of recipes for holiday baking. And of course, that amazing um, 12 inch round in this beautiful holiday red, as well as a super special offer that we're going to have on the, um, and, you know, a, a nut surprise color, mystery color is what they call it. We have this brand new host gift special in a beautiful sparkly red color. It's a complete table service set, the dessert plates, the bowls, the cups. It also comes with the gallon impression pitcher, which everybody loves and a serving center. And um, as a host bonus, you'll be able to add four additional plates and four additional tumblers. And there is another uh, exclusive offer for a host for the month of October. And while it's not featured here in the brochure, um, I am going to tell you it's the salad spinner. So if you have folks who've been asking you for the salad spinner, you better get that party dated. I'm going to bring Dora on. She's getting over there. Going, <laughs> shh, shh, shh. You know, you, you want to go ahead and get those people lined up as well, but don't don't, don't, don't start dating your parties for October, guys. you got to fill up the next two weeks because that's going to give you twice as many parties to put into that first week of October as well. Now, what other products do we have that you're going to be able to offer to your customers during October? Well, of course, we've got our all-time favorite, the spaghetti dispenser, which becomes a stacked cookie recipe holder, a stacked cookie uh, mix. You know, you've seen those cookies in a jar, brownies in a jar, soup in a jar. Well, you don't need a jar. You can use these and then you give them a gift that keeps on giving. We have the holiday baking set for the children. And we also have, um, of course, everybody's... Everybody's favorite things, the uh, quick shake, the all in one shaker as well, because they need that to mix up their glazes and things along that line. But check this out. I am love so this. excited. I love this. This pink is gorgeous. And um, of course, those pink modular mates are gorgeous. And if you have Mary Kay friends, you want to reach out to them because they could use those cute little containers to carry some of their samples in it, to carry some of their um, you know things in it to their parties that they're doing, their makeup. They can also use the little containers to keep their brushes and things like that. And just they could get those to fill up with goodies to give the people on their team for the holidays as well. And of course, another favorite that everybody loves, it is our exclusive carry-all container, the large um, holiday canister, which will hold 
you know, tons and I think it's like 20 dozen cookies or something like that in there and the beautiful red color for $24, but it's also a purchase with purchase for just 10. So you're going to make sure that you take advantage of all of these great offers that we have. Now, as we wrap up to remember sampling opens tomorrow, make sure you get your sample order in so you get them back fast. But since we're talking about parties, I want to remind you that tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we have our special pop up party kit kitchen pop up party in the kitchen um, going on. We have some, three amazing demonstrators who'll be ready to share with you some appalicious recipes. Um, we're going to be using some of our fantastic new products like the let me grab it over here. Our fantastic um, ravioli maker because we're going to teach you how to make an apple ravioli tart using this as well. We're going to teach you how to make your own pie crust and we're going to teach you how to make a delicious caramel topping along with a healthy orchard salsa that you'll be eating by the spoon because it's so Yum. good. So you don't want to miss out. So what does that mean for you? Well, there's a, we have a group set up for that. You're going to want to be sure that you're in the group. You're going to be sure that you've invited people. Don't just tag them or put their name in the group. Send an invitation to them. Send a personal invitation in Messenger and say, what are you doing tomorrow night? What are you doing tonight? Eight o'clock, I want you to jump online with me because we're going to teach you four easy recipes. And then that way, they're going to jump in there with you. They're going to be watching. They're going to get excited. You tell them, hey, why don't you invite a couple of your friends? And then if they want something, that can be they can be counted towards your party. And so they get excited. We're going to show them some of the host offers. We're going to show them what's in it for them if they do host or if they join us. And that gives them a chance to get excited about that. So they'll have a choice at the end. They can shop, they can date, or they can join you in the business. You want to be inviting your friends and family as well to be a part of it. You can host your own mystery host. Let everybody know that you're giving away the gifts that you that people qualify for or that you would qualify for to them. And you want to be sharing this in your feed and on your page. And as I said, with those personal invitations, because this is how you can maximize your business and take advantage of all that we have to offer people as well. And um, by popular demand, we are going to continue these all the rest of the year, not once a month, but twice a month. So you can hold a party at the beginning of the month. You can hold a party in the middle of the month and you can use this as a way to get exposure to lots and lots more products as well. And who knows, we might even be able to convince door to come in and pop up in our, in one of our kitchens one night or we'll yes. pop up in her kitchen and get her to share one of her amazing recipes as well. Hey guys, if you think Dora needs to join us <laughs> in one of our pop-up kitchens, go ahead and put that in the chat. Let's give her some love and show her how much we appreciate her for being here with um, us tonight. Thank you, Marsha. I surely miss being there um, with you cooking together because it's a lot of fun. That's right. Okay, I'm, I'm typing a quick message here. Okay, there we go. Just, da, da, da. Show Dora your love. There we go. Show Dora Yay. your love. All right, so we want to be sh doing that. And um, and they're like, oh, yes, thank They said, bring yourself, Dora. Join us, Dora. Be there, yes. Dora. We want you, Dora. They come hungry. Dora. They love Dora. <laughs> yes, please, Dora. Will you come? Okay. Sounds Yay. good. So as we finish up tonight and close, um, I want to leave you guys all with once again um, a, a thought, a thought to take us with. And tough times never last, but tough teams do. And what I mean by that is, you know, we all hit roadblocks. We all hit, you know, fall in a, a pit sometimes and don't think we're ever going to find our way out of that. But I will tell you that. Nothing is final unless we quit. And um, the old saying from Confucius, you know, fall down nine times, get up 10. Well, tough times won't last, but we need to be strong enough to weather the storms. We need to be able to stay focused on what's important. We need to focus on what's in it for us and how we can make things better for other people. So be sure that you recognize that you have a great team to support you. You have an amazing director. You have an amazing manager. You have a 
business leaders who love you. You have regionals who are willing to do what they can to help you as well. We're all in this together. We're all working together. And together, we do more. Together, everyone achieves more. So thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. Thank you, Dora, for being here with us tonight. We appreciate you. We appreciate all you do for our region as well. And we'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. They like to move it. Move it.